we're going to make some very nice buttons for your Google site using the very simple to use Google Drawings. First things first, go to drawings.google.com. Insert a suitable image for your button using Google search or a photo that you already have. Double click on the image so that you get the crop option. Resize the image's crop border so that it almost fills the canvas but not quite, leaving enough room for the drop shadow effect. Resize the image accordingly to fill the crop area. You can add rounded corners to your image if you want to just by clicking on the crop um, options and selecting the relevant shape. Add a white 8 point border and making sure you still have clicked on your image, select the format option and we're going to add a drop shadow. Extend the distance of the shadow away from the picture a little bit and you can play with the blur amount as well if you want to. Just make sure that it doesn't exceed the boundaries of the canvas. Grab the text box, add some text, resize that accordingly. Pick a nice bright colour that is distinguishable from the background. Add a very subtle drop shadow to that as well. Make sure your text is correctly centred in the middle of the button. Make sure the text is an appropriate size, nice and big. Select your image again and go back to format options. Turn the brightness down so that the text is nice and visible, but that you can still see your image as well. Again, from the format options, you can recolor the image if you want to, just keep it nice and subtle. You may need to adjust the brightness and contrast again, just to get it right. Before you download it, give it a name that is appropriate to what it is. And then go to the file menu, select download, and make sure it's a PNG image so that those transparent areas around the image will be transparent and not white. If you're using Google Chrome, which I hope you are, your downloader image will be at the bottom of the screen. Just drag it up onto your website and resize and uncrop as needed. So now how do you use the template you've just created to make more buttons quickly? Back in Google Drawings, we're going to go to version history from this link here, and we're going to rename this current version to something appropriate like English. So then we can get out of that now and we can go and start our next button. So here's a neat little trick. Make sure you've selected your image with the white border and the shadow. And when you insert a new image, it will keep the same properties of the existing image, meaning the white border and the drop shadow. So now it's just a matter of repeating the process of cropping the image and resizing it so that it is the same size and dimensions as the one underneath it so that the buttons on your website are consistently the same size. So then right click on your new image, send it to the back and then delete the previous image and adjust the text accordingly. Make any last minute adjustments to your image. And again, before we download it, we're going to rename this one accordingly and then we'll download it the same way and add it to the website. You may have noticed I forgot to put the rounded corners on this button at least you can see what it looks like in comparison to the other one. Now all that's left to do is to turn these ordinary images into buttons. So we go up to the link option and then select the page that we want the button to point to. 